Are you ready to learn how to write an application letter or a cover letter that will actually get you seen and hopefully hired? In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to write a really good application letter or cover letter as you apply in for jobs, whether you're a virtual assistant or a freelancer, I want to walk you through what works. Now, this is coming from someone who has looked at at least a thousand resumes and application letters in the last like 10 years, I think, that I've been hiring online as well. This was way back when I was also a hiring manager for the first ever jobs that I got when I was 19 years old, all the way to now running my virtual assistant company here in the Philippines. So I'm gonna walk you through what that could look like and the key things to watch out for. First one is read through the job ad. That's the first thing when you're writing a really good application letter, you have to read through the job ad because one, they might have something called Easter eggs. And this is something that I like to do within my company when we're hiring is that we add hey make sure that this is on your resume so then we know that you read the ad or make sure this is on your application letter or it could be that they don't even accept application letters in the first place so you can skip this whole thing that they might just have you fill in a form now whatever it is that's why it's important to actually read through the job ad that you're trying to apply for just because they have you know, sometimes special instructions or things that you need to know. Now, a few things also here is you need to also just watch out in general for things that are not a real job ad. It might be sadly a scam. It might be sadly something that's they're just putting it as a job ad, but it's not urgent enough or else you'd be kind of wasting a lot of your time trying to apply for a job that might not be ready to hire you just yet. And key things to remember for this is if they're asking you for information beyond what is basic, which is basically contact details, your experience, if they're asking you right away of like bank details or other personal information, just try to avoid that altogether. Next is as you're reading through that job ad, write your application letter as if you're writing a reply to that job ad. So what I mean by this is imagine you're just having a conversation with that person, with the hiring manager. So what you're doing is you're repeating back the things that they've said, the people or the person that they're looking for. You're also stating that you did read the job ad, that you probably went to the website or their social media pages. The point of this is just kind of look at the job ad and the application letter as kind of just part of the conversation you're trying to have with the hiring manager or with the employer themselves. This changes it dramatically because then you can start customizing your job ad for this company. And yes, you might be sending like 10 or 20 applications per day, but this is how you can stand out. This is how you can show up as a person who's detail oriented, cares about the work, and also wants to get hired. Then in the that reply so you can follow the usual format of you know putting their address on it their name and then on the first sentence is just the response to the job ad so for example let's say that says looking for a kick-ass virtual assistant you'll say hey my name is Lian Lang Lakaba and I'm applying for the job role of kick-ass virtual assistant I really think that I'm really fit for this role because and this is the next section you're going to give out your related experience to the role so as you read through that job ad you're going to relate any experience or any skills that they've said that they need this person to have. So let's say they ask for six months experience as a virtual assistant or that you have experience on a tool that they want to use. You could say, I'm a perfect fit for this role because I've had actually 18 months experience as a virtual assistant. I've also used Notion before. I'm just using this as an example and have used it to create databases, files, assets, whatever it is that you've done in previous jobs. The reason why you want to relate your skills as well and your achievements, that's the next section for this is writing up the first paragraph as a reply to the job ad you're talking to them and then next is then putting in the related experience right away to this job now if it's not an immediate related experience let's say in between you know last being a virtual assistant for the last 18 months you also had a six month stint maybe as a social media manager you don't have to discount the six months you want to just highlight the 18 months or the related experience that you had in the previous role and then also mention the recent experience i might have then that's when the skills and achievements come in of like per skill that they outline that they need for the job you're gonna write out the achievements that you've had so far with that so you can say you list it out on your job ad that you're looking for someone who has experience on google sheets in my previous jobs I've even created so and so spreadsheet with them I know how to do this and this formula whatever it is but you want to be specific on how your own skills right now relate to the person that they're looking for next is you want to highlight your strengths and your soft skills and how you've used them as well in previous jobs so you can put this up with the skills and the achievements of like with my skills in leadership with my skills in management with my soft skills in communication or whatever that looks like. Again, look at the job ad of what are the skills they're looking for. We can start relating all of that 
in that application letter. Again, think of it as a reply to their job ad. When people are trying to hire, they're already giving you exactly who it is that they're looking for. You just want to be, of course, that good match for them. Now, at the very end of your application letter should be what is it that you're looking forward to? What's the next step? Now, depending on how they roll out their job ad, it might be the next step would be the interview. The next step might be a skills test. The next step will just be hearing back from them. So as you close out your application letter, you want to say, I'm looking forward to hearing from you and hopefully scheduling the interview soon. Looking forward to hearing from you and going through your skills tests. So it's just basically making sure that you end the application letter strong of like, hey, I read through your ad. I understand what it is you need. I understand who it is you're looking for. That's me. I'm looking forward to actually meeting with you. And of course, adding in a really good signature of just like your name and then how to contact you. Now, as someone who has hired a lot of people in the last 10 years, I've had a couple of really good application letters that have stood out. And a lot of them is because they're just having a conversation with me. They're continuing on what I put out into the universe, basically, of I need this kind of person. And then, hey, I'm that person. Now, let's say you don't have any relevant experience through the job ad, but it's a role that you want to get into. You can easily just state like, hey, I don't have direct experience on this, but I have been able to do X, Y, and Z, whether that you studied on this, you did some variation of the role before, or that you're currently gaining experience on the role and would like to explore it more. Now, a couple of other best practices that I want to give you guys is one, don't send mass applications. We can tell, we can see. I've seen application letters where they've even CC'd 10 other hiring managers which honestly for us feels very lazy and like why are you doing this to us and two is the magic of follow up after you send your application letter if you have not heard from them for three to five days just set a follow up sometimes emails get missed emails get you know put into archive accidentally we've had it happen in our company before that because someone uh one of the hiring managers took a leave we weren't able to pass on to the next hiring manager so just bumping that email does help because then you're just kind of making sure that they did see your email. And the third best practice is to research the company as best as you can. Again, when you're doing the job ad, you can see who they are. So just to go to the website, their social media pages, just find out more. So then you can add more of those details into the application letter. Now, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button right there and comment below. What are the best practices that you have when it comes to writing application letter or cover letters? I would love to know. And if you still haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home, which you guys can check out those two playlists right here and the latest video right here. Hope you guys have an amazing day. And remember that small steps matters. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.